you see that the motor goes from negative value to positive value to goes from positive 2.7 amps to negative 2.7 amps here and then the speed decelerates from positive 5000 almost 400 rpm to negative 5400 rpm hi everyone today i'm going to show you in practice the notion of torque controlling and I'm going to show you how it's actually done using our products here. Solo Uno version 2 is used. And uh, torque controlling is actually offered on all of our products. As you see, we have provided for you a test setup, including a permanent magnet synchronous motor, a hysteresis brake, and a coupling in between these two. The hysteresis brake provides for me the torque against the motion of the motor. So I can stress the motor and I can show you how increase or decreasing of the torque actually affects the motor in terms of the motion and the speed that we can reach beside the tissues brake here i have a, a driver for the brake which fixes a certain amount of current to the brake and i can increase it or decrease it initially in my test i'm going to put it at a certain value 150 milliamps which will result in 0.1 newton meter in the heat resist brake and we're going to see together how actually things are going to work so the first thing i'm going to do is turning on solo so solo is blinking e2 led is blinking it means everything is good i go in motion terminal i get connected to solo through the usb cable that i have after connection i see all the parameters that are existing currently on the non-volatile memory of solo i've already did the tuning of the motor, the encoder, calibration, and the connection of the motor wiring. I don't need to do anything else now. Everything is ready for me. I just go right away to the concept of torque controlling. The only thing before starting the experimentation is you need to make sure your solo is actually in closed loop mode. So to put the solo, solo uno in closed loop mode, you need to put the pin number five of the piano switch down. As I'm gonna use solo in digital mode, the rest of the pins are not important for me, but it's always good to keep the analog settings and digital settings the same on piano switch so you don't get confused if you wanna switch between these two. For example, now, if I'm gonna use the torque controlling in analog mode, I need to put the pin number four up and I need to define the motor type through the pin number one and two. The pin number one is down and two is up, so I'm selecting normal, brushless, or uh, brushes DC or brushes AC type of motor. So now I go back to motion terminal. I'm by default in analog mode. I go to digital mode. Solo is already in torque mode. The torque reference, which is here called IQ, is already at, set at zero. Please notice that IQ has a linear relation with the torque of the motor. So the torque of the motor is equal to the IQ multiplied by the torque constant. So in this video, I'm going to call IQ as torque and here it's already set at zero amps so it means i'm not going to expect any motion on the shaft of the motor as it's happening here to explain and see further what's happening inside the motor we have the monitoring mode here i enabled to monitor the iq and the speed if i run it i see the each of these values have a certain amount for example the speed is at zero and the iq value is nearly 150 milliamps this is an offset and before doing anything i need to turn on the brake so after turning on the brake you're going to see that the the, the brake driver is going to set a certain amount of current to the brake initially i'm going to put it at 150 milliamps as i mentioned before which will give me almost 0.1 newton which is a good starting point for this motor that i have here so it's already at 150 milliamps now if i increase the iq value the reference of the solo to 0.5 amps i'm going to see what's happening so if i do that i see the torque goes from 115 milliamps to a value like uh, 600 milliamps the difference is the value that we set here 0.5 amps and it's gonna get it's gonna get going but it's not enough to move the motor because the torque on the hysteresis brake is actually more than what the torque that the motor is applying on it. So I increase it a bit more. I go to 0.8 amps 
there is no motion in the motor still the torque is not enough despite being in relatively high value i go to 1.2 amps no motion at the motor the torque has increased i go to 1.6 amps no motion at the motor the torque again is rising i go to 1.9 still no luck with the motion i increase it to 2.3 it's not moving the motor. I go further to 2.6. No motion. I increase it to 2.8. No motion. 3.5. And here we go. So the motor started to move at 3.5 amps. You see, the amount of torque that is consumed in the uh, load is nearly 1.8 amps. But if, since it was locked, I had to apply more torque after applying nearly 3.5 amps of torque the motor is now moving with its nominal speed which is around 5600 rpm if i reduce the torque to 2.9 amps still it's enough it's moving if i go back to 0.5 amps i see that the motor stops despite having the 0.5 amps of torque the motor decelerates back to the uh, uh, zero speed so now i'm going to go back to 3.2 amps as i was the motor goes and accelerates back to this nominal speed at this certain amount of load i change the direction of rotation you see here the speed from minus 5600 went to positive 5600 and the direction of the torque also has changed it changed from minus 1.8 amps consumed in the load to positive 1.8 amps consumed on the load now i'm going to stop the motor and i'm going to increase the amount of load on the hysteresis brake so the only thing i'm going to do is increasing this value to 180 milliamps which subsequently will increase the torque on the hysteresis brake and i'm going to see how it affects my torque controlling. So I increased the torque on the hysteresis brake to 180 milliamps. Now I'm expecting to see higher torque consumed by the motor to move the hysteresis brake. So if I go back to the motion terminal and I put a torque reference of 2 amps, you're going to see that the actually the 2 amps is fixed, but the motor is not moving. I increase it to 2.3 amps. No motion. I go to 3 amps it is slow, slowly starts to move the torque that is consumed on the load now is nearly 1 amps more compared to before it's 2.7 amps and if i change the direction now you see that the motor goes from negative value to positive value to goes from positive 2.7 amps to negative 2.7 amps here and then the speed decelerates from positive 5000 almost 400 rpm to 5000 negative 5400 rpm you see here the nominal speed of the motor is actually a bit less because there is higher load on the shaft of the motor but i can go to various conditions i change the direction abruptly you see again i go from one torque to the other so that was the whole notion of torque controlling in solo i hope it was helpful if you have any other questions please visit our website Use our forum for your technical questions and we remain available. Thank you so much.